welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to move the wordpress directory into apache document root um, let me so open the terminal first ensure that you are still inside the ec2 instance and then paste this command what this will do is it will copy the wordpress folder into where www slash html path so once that is done we have to navigate to that path but before that um, so what if, if you want the wordpress directory to just appear in the main website for example google.com and you have to see the wordpress website then move it to this folder path if you want to have it inside google.com slash blog then you can do this the second step uh, in my case I'm gonna directly install it in the root now we are going to set permlinks so uh, let us copy paste the next set of commands so uh, so here you can see that we have to navigate to this section and then make a change to this allow override and then set it to all so let us scroll to that section so as they have mentioned there are multiple uh, there are multiple allow override lines in the file but be sure that you change only this specific thing um, you can see uh, let me scroll a bit down so this is here document root no not this one we have to find this directory where so this is here directory where html which is same as what we are seeing here directory where www html i'm gonna change this allow override to from none to all um, to do that let me quickly come down click on i button and then change it to all so now we are setting the allow override to all let me save this wq exclamatory mark and then hit enter this file is successfully saved once that is done we have to fix uh, file permissions for the apache web server uh, we are going to run the below set of commands I have pasted this uh, link in the description please check it out so each of these commands will help us to set the right permissions uh, for everything to work fine I'm not going into the technicalities of this commands to make this tutorial simpler and easy to follow we are uh, following the commands which Amazon provided us so now once everything is done we are going to restart the Apache web server and once that is done uh, we are going to run the WordPress installation script with Amazon Linux 2 uh, so again we are going to run this command to ensure that httpd and mariadb start after every reboot um, let us check the status of mariadb server it says running let's do the check the status for httpd also which says it is active and running state now let us go to the website link and then see if we are seeing 
wordpress installation flow when i reload my url which i copied from the instance the public dns ip so you can see the wordpress installation shows up let me click on continue but um, okay let's go and go ahead and then finish the wordpress installation process choose a language of your choice give a website title username password email and then uh, search engine visibility once you click on uh, install you can see the wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy you can see the success message um, so which means you have successfully completed the installation part let us go and check if wordpress blog is loading up so you can see uh, so copy the public dns ip and then paste it in the url bar you can see that a new wordpress website has been launched successfully after this you can make customizations by getting into your admin dashboard in wordpress and then install new themes uh, and make all the design changes you want thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel i hope this video series is helpful to you